Good afternoon everyone, welcome to Early Birds YouTube channel. I show, we did do a video here on this job. Uh, I think we've only done one and it was just basically site set up and what we was gonna do. We have really pushed on in the last two weeks. Two weeks or three weeks, Marcus? Well, that's since I started the job to be fair. <laughs> Mate, take all the credit all you want. Um, what was really nice is the client sent us a little message saying, can you thank everyone in the team for being so nice and making the journey really good. They were very nervous about this build and how the builders were gonna be. And it's really nice. I think it's credit to all the guys that work with Early Birds um, that a client takes the opportunity uh, the time to send a nice message it just makes everyone feel happy and puts us all in the right place that we're trying to do the right things um, this is why we get up in the morning to create these opportunities and to make people's lives and their standard of life a little bit better than what it is we understand that everyone works hard to be able to afford these kind of builds so we've got two extensions we've got one there which accommodates the kitchen and the snug and then we've got one here which is just like a dining room area but these are going to be modern builds they're going to have cladding order on the outside they've got metal roofs both sides have got beautiful v-lux which is three meters long it's not a v-lux it's a roof like three meters long by a meter wide so it just oozes light so i'm going to just show you around by the way big thank you to marcus everyone knows him for the flick of the air but he's holding the camera today <laughs> Mind our heads on these clips. Kill. Cool. There we go. So building control was here this morning. They've been here for the foundations. They come here this morning and they were over the moon with what we're doing. So what's going to happen is this is going to be the kitchen area here. We're just just waiting for a steel to turn up just so we can um, support the chimney breast up here. Uh, no one knew this was there, but we've got strong boys to hold it up to keep it structurally sound. Then we've got an RSJ or a flitch beam, which is two bits of timber with a metal plate in the middle. Whatever the engineer says, we can get we can get over. It. We can do anything, can't we, Mark? Of course we As can. A team. We're going to have a stud wall that comes off this line here, Marcus. Yep. Is that correct? All yep. the way through here. This becomes a utility room with a toilet, and this becomes a kitchen here. Kitchen comes all the way around here. Gonna have a couple of sofas here. So it's a nice little snug comfort area. As you can see, all our joists are done. We put two struts on, and because it's a metal roof, we're about to add batten up on here, Marcus, if you can show them the batten, uh, because yeah. when you do a metal roof, you still got to have airflow. We've still got a bolt up top and bottom of the wall plates, this side, that side. Marcus tomorrow is gonna to cut all the blocks in. All nice. And then we've done this roof here. Same roof, metal line roof. And this V-Lux come, uh, the roof light, keep calling it a V-Lux, sorry. This roof light comes from here all the way up to there. Just oozes light. We've done it center to the existing door. As you can see, the cat, any pets are very important to clients and to me. So what we do is we put a cat flap in so he can get on, get in, have his food and come out. Got to keep the standard of life. You've even built him a step. Did everything cut, eh? You've even built him a step, look. Like. Yeah, we've been, yeah, we've been <laughs> building the steps to make it easier for him to get in. Um, we've put their temporary kitchen upstairs, so they've still got a working kitchen, so it doesn't disrupt them as much. Um, still a disruption. Any build is a disruption, but you try and make it as comfortable as possible for a client. Marcus has gone round, I've just seen, he's put all the Solitex in the steel because of cold spots, he's done it there. Great big steels, so we've got a steel on the bottom floor, yeah. concreted in. Correct. We've got, so this is what we call a gold frame, literally a frame steel, concreted in, all encased, that way and this way, we've just had it screened in, got underfloor heating on here. So, it's a real nice, small, little, beautiful build, but it's gonna look really, really decorative and nice. And the nice thing about it is this client is very quirky. The kitchen's gonna be very, very quirky. I love it. 
So if you keep watching our YouTube channel, you'll see what the kitchen's gonna like, uh, look like. So guys, listen, thank you for watching. Um, please stay tuned, support our guys. Um, ring the bell, press the like button, and I'll see you on the other side. Marcus, thank you. See you on the other side. Thank you. Together what? Together we build trains. <laughs>